Welcome back guys, it's Fox2, and in today's video, I'll be making a new player's guide to War Thunder Mobile. And I'll be talking about some basic strategies, and some tips and tricks that new players can use to be more efficient in this game. So my tip number one, is when you start out, the game will ask you to pick between three starter tanks, the Panzer IV F2, the M4A1, or the T-34-1940. And even though the Panzer IV F2 on paper looks like the best option, I would recommend you choose the T-34-1940 platoon. Maybe it's just Gaijin's Russian bias, but this platoon excels. Even though on paper it doesn't look the best, you'll be one-shotting a lot of tanks in the T-34-1940 and the T-34-1941. My second tip would be to be very conservative with your resources. When you first enter the game, everything's gonna be very cheap, and you're gonna feel very tempted to spend a lot of your resources on these cheap vehicles, because you're gonna have like 200 to 300,000 silver lions sitting around there doing nothing, and you're gonna think, you know, why not just spend it? Everything's so cheap. But, it'll take you by a nasty surprise when after about level 4, the vehicle's prices shoot up sky high, literally. So don't spend your money on lots of low tier vehicles, even though it is enticing to do so. Rather just buy one platoon, maybe two platoons if you really want to, and grind using those platoons until you can level up and buy the next level of platoon. Now the way the platoon system works is you'll buy a tank platoon and using the blue XP you earn you'll level up each couple of battles as you earn the XP and every five levels you'll get a new vehicle in the platoon and you can respawn in a different vehicle from the platoon for completely free. Now you have three lives per battle, but if you only have one vehicle in the platoon, you have only two lives. And if you respawn in the same vehicle, it will cost you backups. So that's why it's important to try and get more vehicles in the platoon, so you're not using those backups. And once you do have more vehicles in the platoon, try not to respawn in the same vehicle twice. Always respawn in a different vehicle, even if it's not a ve vehicle you're in the mood to play in simply because these backups are very valuable for when you do buy a new platoon and you only have one vehicle. If you run out of backups, you'll only have one life in that vehicle per battle. You can also upgrade your platoon and boost your level here using gold, so level up a lot quicker in the platoon. But I would not recommend you do this. This is a waste of gold in my opinion. There are much more important things to use gold on in this game. If you really hate the platoon grind, maybe boost the first five levels so at least you've got two vehicles, but after that I would not recommend you spend any more gold on boosting the platoon. Instead, you should spend gold on either getting yourself a premium vehicle, which earns a lot more resources than standard vehicles, or what I do is use my gold to boost my leveling up. I level up a lot faster to the next level of vehicles, not platoon levels. Because once you reach about level 4, the leveling gets very, very slow and it'll take you weeks to move up a level. So that's what I'd recommend you spend your gold on, your overall leveling up. The next thing a new player should learn is where to shoot on tanks. Now obviously, this varies between vehicles, but what I'll be showing you here is a general rule for most vehicles in the game of where to shoot and what it will do to them. So if you get a good flanking position, your best bet on one-shotting the vehicle will be shooting within this area in the middle, and it's often the ammunition storage is in this area, or sometimes you can take out all crew members in one go with a well-placed shot right there to the middle about. Shooting over here in the rear can often set fuel tanks alight, because there's often fuel tanks stored there, or damage the engine. The next spot is shooting here in the turret. We'll often take out the driver, not excuse me, not the driver, 
the loader and the gunner, which will stop the weapon from being able to fire. Now, if you're facing a tank frontally, and you shoot right in the middle plate there, that'll often take out the driver or the radioman in the front, which will immobilize them, obviously. And if you shoot for the turret, which is usually very hard to pin, so it's a bit risky shooting for the turret, but sometimes you can take out the loader and the gunner and silence their weapon. But if the enemy is looking at you and trying to take you out as well at the same time, your best bet would be to first shoot at their cannon and take out that part so at least they can't shoot you. Then you should go for their tracks or their driver and then you will be free to flank around and take them out. Lastly, if you shoot them from behind, you can often set the engine on fire, which will take a bit of time but will eventually destroy the tank, so long as they don't use their fire extinguisher in time. Alright, so now I'll head to battle in Platoon EBR 1951, and during the battle I'll be talking about some strategies during battles that new players can also use when fighting. Alright, we've been loaded in, and let's see what the game gives us this time. So we have got three bases, and I'm going to choose my M4A1 FL10, and we spawn nearest to base A. So as a new player, what you first want to do in a three base map, is you'd want to push to one of the outer bases, and push to about one third of the way through the map and find a good spot to take cover behind and wait for crossing enemies like that one over there. there's, okay, there's a ricochet. As a new player you don't want to push to the mid base because that can be very dangerous. If the enemy happens to take both of the outer bases they'll be able to come in on you from both sides and that will be a very difficult situation for someone who's new to the game to get out of. So if you are new to the game always push to one of the outer bases. Okay there is this guy still here and I'm hoping I can sneak up on them from where they did not expect me to come out from. Okay, let's see, can we get... Uh-oh. Oh, man! That's the thing with the M4A1 FL10, it is a Sherman with a French turret, which means it struggles a lot armor-wise against higher tier vehicles like the ones you will be fighting against in it. But that's not a problem, we'll just respawn in the ARL44, and hopefully we can save base A. Yeah, I've got some teammates already there trying to cover the base. Let's see, can we shoot there? Okay, non-penetration. Let's see, can we get this tiger? Let's call for an artillery strike on A. Alright, the smoke screen is getting on my nerves because I cannot see anyone through it. But I'm just gonna go up here. Because he also can't see me. And doesn't know where I am positioned. To be able to take him out. Hoping I can find him with my machine gun. Maybe I can 
Full snapshot right through there, non-penetration. Okay. okay. I'm gonna pull back and wait until he peeks out here. Which he will pretty soon. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, he's pulling back. He's pulling back. He has been taken out finally. And now I'm clear to push onto base A and take it back for the team. Okay, look, we've taken this guy's tracks out. We cannot let him get us. Oh no, this is an SU-152 that's got such an incredible 152 millimeter gun. Good, fire. Got him on fire. Hopefully we can take his crew out before he's able to repair. Poor guy, he's stuck now. Completely stuck. Boom, yes! Finally! Uh oh. We've got some trouble coming in here now. We've got a lot of trouble coming in for us now. Hits, hits. Let's take it. Let's stop this panther. Let's stop this panther right now. Let's try and stop this panther. Ah! Three teammates and one guy. My goodness, this poor guy is not having a good day. And we've run out of penetrating shells and now we're stuck with high explosive which is gonna be very difficult to penetrate him with as we can see there's nowhere even in his rear that we can penetrate okay, who just shot me there that guy right there and he's damaged my track so I have to wait until it's repaired let's just try and take out his track as well. Okay, let me just spawn a plane since I think that will be a good idea at this point in the battle. And we are running out of capture points. Ah! Crashing into each other, okay. This has been a very, very strange battle. It's not every day a hundred and one weird things happen in one battle. And I still can't penetrate this guy because I'm out of ammunition. And we had a defeat, but second place in the team is not too bad and it was a particularly funny battle. We had a collision, mid-air collision with another aircraft. And we had that really hilarious multiple teammate hug with that lone panther. Three teammates on one guy. But yeah, I hope you guys found this interesting. And let me know in the comments, what are your tips and tricks for new players to the game? Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. See you next time.